Hello, everyone. I am Zhang Tong, the first author of the paper "Multi-User UAV Relay Half Duplex Uplink Cellular Networks with Direct Links and Control and Backhaul Links." I'm from the School of Electronics and Information Engineering, Harbin Institute of Technology. My presentation includes seven parts. First of all, the introduction, and the second part is the system model. The third part is problem formulation. The fourth part is the solution to the problem. The fifth part is the algorithm. The sixth part is. Numerical results and discussion, and finally is the summary. First of all, let me introduce the background of my research. In recent years, the application of unmanned aerial vehicle (UAV) on communication networks has attracted widespread attention. The potential of UAV relays has already been mentioned in Release 15. At present, relevant researches focus on UAV-assisted emergency communication and temporary communication. In Release 17, the requirement for cellular network to enable UAV's connection. Has been mentioned. Benefit from their high mobility, UAVs connected to cellular networks have broad prospects as cooperative relays to enhance communication performance. In the cellular networks with UAV and multiple users, we should not only consider. The UAV's relaying performance, but also the control and backhaul links from the UAV to the base station and from the base station to the UAV. So we consider a half duplex uplink communication system consisting of a base station, a UAV, and multiple ground nodes. The UAV flies at a given altitude and works as a decoding and a forward relay. Since the UAV is connected to cellular networks as a special user, its position is given in advance because of requirements of mission, because of limited spectrum resource. The UAV and users. Share the same spectrum resource and are multiplexed using power domain NOMA. In the first time slot, the UAV receives information from the users and the control information from the base station. All the NOMA users and the base station share the same spectrum resource using power domain NOMA. In the second time slot, the users transmit information to the base station directly, and the UAV transmits the backhaul information, including the users' data, to the base station. The users and the UAV share the same spectrum resource. The decoding order is the descending order. Of the channel gain factors of all the users and the UAV. Table one showed the meaning of the parameters. At time slot one, we use PB to represent the power from the base station, and use PU to UK one to represent the power from the users. And In time slot two, we use PU 
to represent the power from the UAV to the base station. And we use PU to B K2 to represent the power from the users to the base station. Here in the subscripts, the capital letter B means the base station. The lowercase letter U means users. And the, the capital letter U means UAV. According to uh, Shannon uh, formula, the spectrum efficiency for the user for the user k to the UAV at time slot one is given as function three. The spectrum efficiency from the base station to the UAV are u to b one and from the UAV to the base station are u to b2 can be both calculated as function 4. The spectrum efficiency from the users to the base station is uh, given by function 5. And the interference in functions 3 4 and 5 are given as 6 and 7. At the UAV relaying node, the interference is the received information from the users with lower channel gain than the user K in equation 1, which is the descending order of the channel gain. Similarly, at time slot 2, at the base station, the interference is given as equation 7. In equation 6, P tilde J1 and H tilde J1 represent PB or PU to U J1 and H U to U J or H U to B J in in function 1 and in equation 7, P tilde J2 and H tilde J2 represent PU or PU to B J2 and H U to B J or H U to B J in function 2. Next is the mathematical problem of the system. To maximize the minimum data rate per hertz of the users, we propose problem 1. Under the constraints of the available power of users, the UAV and the base station, and the minimum data rates of UAV's control and backhaul links, Function 8 is, means that the uh, UAV's control and backhaul links need to transmit with higher data rate than our backhaul. Function 9 means at the second time slot, the UAV need to, needs to transmit all the received data and the control data to the base station. Functions 10, 11, and 12 are the power constraints for the user's UAV and the base station. To solve the problem, we use DC programming. This is a method to solve the difference of two convex functions. The second convex function is approximated by its first-order Taylor expansion at the position of XL by updating XL in each iteration L, the solution can be approached. We use RU minimum as a slack parameter to transfer the objective function of P1 
to a convex function. The problem is formulated as P2, which is a convex problem. According to DC programming, the upper bounds of the parameters, for example, minus R u to u k1, is given by a function 20. Note that since the function of log can be transformed to the difference of two log functions, all the upper bound in P2 can be given similarly. Here shows the upper bound of minus R u to b k2. Then the convex problem P2 can be solved using CVX tools in MATLAB. First of all, we need to initialize the variables P, U, K, T, P, U, P, B. Then we solve problem 2 using optimization tools in MATLAB and update the optimal variables P, U, K, T, P, U, P, B after each iteration and put them in another round of iteration until the algorithm reaches a convergence. Next is the numerical results. As for the channel parameters, we set the large scale path loss factor at reference distance as minus 46 dB, the path loss exponent as 2. The noise spectrum density is minus 150 dBm per hertz, and the system works at the frequency of 5 GHz, and the bandwidth is 20 million hertz. Here are the positions of the UAV and the base station. There are four users randomly given in the area of uh, from 500 meters to 1000 meters for X, from 0 meter to 1000 meters for Y, and at the ground, which means the uh, Z equals to 0 meter. The maximum transmitted power for the control and backhaul information from the base station to the UAV is 0 0.02 watt. The maximum power from each user is 0 0.01 watt. The maximum communication power consumption for the UAV is 0 0.02 watt. 0 02 watt. The minimum control and backhaul data rate of the UAV is 0 0.02 bps per hertz. Note that the air to ground channel is region channel. The region factor is 5, and the ground to ground channel is relay channel. We consider orthogonal multiple access as a comparison. As for the OMA scheme, in the first time slot, the UAV receives information from the ground users and receives control data from the base station using separate spectrum resources. At the second time slot, the UAV transmits received information as well as control and backhaul data to the base station, and the users transmit data with separate spectrum resources. Figure 2 shows the convergence of the algorithm. Figure 3 shows the influence of the available power of ground users. It shows that with more power available, the achievable spectrum efficiency increases and the normal scheme has higher 
uh, spectrum efficiency than the OMA scheme. As seen in figure 4, with higher noise power spectral density, the spectrum efficiency of both of the two schemes decreases. As a brief summary, in this paper, we proposed a, a normal scheme for the users and the UAV's control and backhaul links in a cellular system. And we referred to DC programming to solve the non-convex problem and to optimize the power of users UAV and the base station. The results show the convergence of the proposed normal schemes and show pro and prove that the normal schemes had have higher spectrum efficiency than the OMA schemes. Thank you for listening.